And hello once again, welcome back. In the last episode, we had to wrap things up mid-wintery combat mission, I'm afraid. But in this one, we will be returning swiftly to the scene of our ground assault against the Seasians, with the hopes of taking one back alive. You fool. Okay. Alien's turn. The pistols seem to have quite a lot of ammo. And our pistol wielders seem to have fantastic reactions as well. If you shoot me in the back, I will be most displeased with you. Okay, you should be able to... no. Now? Yeah, 58%, I'll take it. Ah! Crowded soul, I'm not used to failure from you. Alright, we need to reload. Oh, maybe they don't. They've only got six bullets. Wow, that sucks. No, you're right. I was sure it said that it had more bullets in the uh, info screen. Must have been imagining it. Okay, well done, team. Let's get inside. Nice and warm. It probably says a lot about me that when I saw those things up there, I didn't think, oh, supplies. I thought, wine cellar. I, I've got a problem. Okay, let's start making a move forward then. Let's get another flare up. That'll do. Right, we want our... Oh, you used your movement. Generally speaking, we want our assault moving first. I think that when Joe got killed, it was simply because his shield missed. I think there's a 20% chance that the shield will fail. That it just won't catch the shot, so I think that's what happened with Joe rather than the bullet going straight through the shield. Okay, we should be good. Uh, everyone else? Yeah. We'll have to turn here. I don't know. He often sends me weird messages about uh, trying to steal my tea, as if he could. I studied martial arts specifically so I could protect my tea from aggressors. He vastly underestimates how attached I am to it. Okay, let's see. We must be getting close now. Yeah. It's going to be another mission where the alien craft is right at the end. That's okay. As long as there are officers inside, I do not mind at all. I've got to say, though, I did really appreciate that... Um, I know a lot of the side talk is <laughs> it's a bit draining when you're just sat there listening to me talking about it, but... Uh, I like the, the bit where they said that the aliens communicate by radio, radio waves. It wasn't telepathy or, or any sort of like abstract mumbo jumbo. It was, it was specific. Yes, you know, they are communicating with their minds, but they're communicating in a very specific way. They're, they're sending short bursts of radio waves. I like that. I, I did approve. I've got to be honest. I don't have to be, but I like to be honest wherever I can be. Hello, and welcome to the chat, which is also on the stream. Bear in mind, if you say anything stupid, it is will be recorded for posterity. So, uh, proper spelling and grammar, if you will. Except for Reverking. Reverking 
doesn't know how to read, so how can I expect him to know the uh, rules of grammar? Man, the ship must be there. It's the only place I can think of being. And yes, Fluffy, I have tried tea with lemon and honey. I've tried most sorts of teas. Um, I brew my own sometimes if I can be bothered to collect the nettles, but uh, I, <laughs> I, I make I make a, a, a bit of a joke about it. <laughs> I, don't really. I wouldn't beat someone up for trying to steal my tea. I'd beat them up for thinking about it. But if they actually tried, I'd have to respect their uh, bravery. There we go. I very much doubt there's going to be anything else out here, so I, but I'm going to uh, pepper the area with flares nevertheless. Yeah, I very much doubt there's going to be anything else up here. So how about everyone just run forward? Don't bother conserving to use. Can I get this over the ship? I cannot. That disappoints me greatly. That would have made my job of uh, exploring the ship much easier. Or rather, exploring the area around the ship. Okay, I suppose I'd best equip you, hadn't I? I'll reload you on the next turn. Um, let's get our assault up there. This is where I lose someone now for being impatient and thinking that I, I'm safe. XCOM is a master of lulling someone into a false sense of security. Um, I imagine you could, but... If I want to stun them, it's probably better for me if the alien ship isn't damaged, because uh, that way I can trap them inside with a room full of stun smoke. It has worked wonders. Alright, where's Crowded Soul? Crowded Soul, you're going to take position here, and you're going to throw a flare. It, it's it's bad that my sniper is so far forward that he can throw flares and be useful. That is not good. Uh, <laughs> yes, very not good. But we are going to equip you guys ready to breach the craft. And just in case, stun rods. You're going to be over here. Now these are Caesians, so they don't suffer from... Poor eyesight the same way that uh, civilians do. So I can't bank on that saving me. There we go. And we want you up there. You as well. Everyone else moved? Yeah, that's good. Wow. Hmm. Yes, it did destroy stuff inside the ship. I did it mostly because I wanted to blow them up. I am slave to my desires as much as the next man. But uh, I am trying desperately to uh, avoid blowing things up because I'm incredibly poor right now. And this is bad. Also, I really need to uh, capture live aliens, so that is also part of why I am being much more cautious this time. 
Right. I think everyone is now in a correct position, so I'm going to have them all take a knee, since it does appear to improve their aim. And our assaults will be at the front, ready to throw in stun grenades. Um, honestly, I'm, I can't remember. Uh, you'd have to check, I'm afraid. But uh, it should be as simple as popping on Steam and just typing in Xenonauts. You will have to make sure that you're looking under the early access, though, because it is in beta. Very much so. There are lots of crash bugs. Just be aware of that. Right. Our assaults are ready to go in there and beat them with truncheons. I'm not sure if all of them are from, from Britain, but uh, if they are, then they should have significant experience with this. Oh, there's one re Ah, oh, there are no blue shirts! Damn it! One, and there's another one in there somewhere. Okay. What? Oh, right, okay. I would like this place filled up with smoke, please. Or, you know, you could miss and throw in the wrong place. Never mind. I, I will I will finish the job if I could just get this to go the right place. Okay, that's another one. Forward. Oh, crap. Ha-ha! You fool! You had your chance. You flubbed it. Not my fault. It's yours. Stun gas for everybody. And now close the door. Okay. Good work, team. Now we wait. <sighs> I imagine this is pretty much how they do it in the military. Let's reload you ready, just in case. Now, you no longer have stun gas. So I'm just going to equip you with flashbangs instead. And another turn. It's one down. I would say that this is a fantastic remake of the original. It remains really, really close to what made the original great. Alright. Okay, I require a flashbang. It must be in there right now. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Both of them are down. Oh, the flashbangs do stun damage, are they? That's pretty cool. Okay, victory! Two stunned aliens. Season non combat Oh, they were non-combatants. Oh. I'm confused. But okay. Three aliens killed, two aliens captured, one surviving local forces, one surviving civilian. Fantastic! Well, though we only got average, but really, it's fantastic! Nation rating. Um, oh, perhaps... Ah. Perhaps the nation rating... Is how they are liking me. So the more I do in an area, the more, the, the better that gets. It's not actually a reflection. I don't know. That's a guess. That's true, actually. But I got used to seeing the, re oh well, yeah, the red shirts around with pistols and the blue shirts around with rifles. So I guess the blue shirts are guards. Damn it! I may have missed a commander then. Ow, oh, balls. Captain, Lieutenant, Sergeant, well done, all of you. Corroded Soul, 76 to use, accuracy 74, very nice. And it does look like um, when people do things, it trains up the particular stats that are involved in that. So those who are throwing flares got trained, uh, trained in strength. Those who shot got trained in accuracy, that sort of thing. Not sure what governs HP increase, though. Perhaps being shot at. Reflexes. Probably when they get a chance to return fire. Yeah, probably something like that. Cesium analysis, eh? Let's go. Go there right now. I wish to know. My wish to know is great. And thus I will spend ten scientists on this. Heavy weapons can wait for a little while. There we go. 
And on that note, we're going to save. We're up to shenanigans 14, my lord. Uh. Hmm. I agree. Oh, okay. Pulse lasers. I'm not sure what that screen was. It was probably another placeholder, but uh, even worse. Right, pulse lasers. The purpose of the pulse laser is to produce a weapon that inflicts the maximum amount of damage possible per shot, creating an extremely powerful laser beam that is able to inflict heavy damage on even well-protected targets at great range. We developed the variant of the weapon small enough to mount on the hunter scout car. I looked. I didn't think that our troops were going to be carrying that around. Um... Fitted with a battery that holds enough power for eight shots and should substantially boost the combat effectiveness of the vehicle. We have also the pulse laser to upgrade our base defenses. Haha! -ha! Pulling power directly from the base reactors. They should greatly improve the chances of destroying an attacking extraterrestrial craft before it can unload ground forces. The retrofit is already underway and should be complete by the time you read this. Well, I love my scientists and engineers. They are fantastic. They're like, oh, should we bother? Should we get the commander's permission? I mean, you know, got a lot of, lot of papers to sign here. and It's going to cost a lot of money. But no, no, no. Don't bother the commander with such trivialities. We must get this done right now. Of course he would want better base defenses. And right you are to think that. Fantastic. Uh, new projects, none. Oh, well. Uh, we'll pop that down. I'll put ten people on this, but... The other ten are going on to the season analysis. I want extra combat damage against them. Now, let's check out our base. My laser turrets appear not to have graphics. Hmm. Hi, Finley. You are well. I've been streaming for a little while. I'll probably be streaming for about 30 minutes, an hour more, maybe. Oh, I am Iron Manning it, Glodran. The only time I reload is when the game crashes, which it has done twice, unfortunately. And that is why I'm not Iron Manning it in the sense of turning on an Iron Man mode, which prevents me from saving it periodically, unfortunately. Um, having watched 1FGF's Let's Play, which is fantastic, by the way. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. But it does end rather tragically when a bug makes the save that he's got unrecoverable um he can't even load it so having multiple saves that i can go back to just means that at most i'm going to lose 30 or something take care tax for thanks for showing up dude it was a pleasure never a chore to have you around well it was kind of a chore you know you do kind of shoot people in the back all the time but uh, it was a pleasure nevertheless but uh yeah definitely if you do play this don't turn on iron man you will cry when your game breaks uh, scatter laser, Gatling laser, pulse laser. Okay. Vehicle weapons, we can now make the pulse laser. We're not going to. Soldier weapons, though. Scatter laser is an advanced heavy weapon that is excellent at mowing down enemy infantry. Yes, we're going to have one of these for Taxfer. Whoa! <laughs> My god, it costs a lot of money. I do not approve. Honestly. But, uh, uh, go on then. Have I got anyone I can assign? No. I will take five people off this, and I will assign them to this. I'm too good to you, Taxfer, even though you've left. Um, mostly people who are watching the stream. I do have a little list for the people who have, uh, asked me on my YouTube videos, because I upload this to my YouTube channel as well. Um, I forgot to have the list open this time, and <laughs> as a result, I haven't been naming anyone from that. But I will be spending some time in the next stream, probably, making sure to name people after those who've requested it from YouTube. But, uh, yes. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a tradition of naming my craft after soldiers who've died. So the Revocane 2, for example. That Joe guy too, etc., etc. I might do the same for my Hunter Scout car, honestly. But I think, oh, well, can I? Is the pulse laser something I can stick on my craft? Aircraft weapons? Ah, Gatling laser. Okay. I like this. I think we're gonna go with one of these. But I'm gonna wait for all of this. How much would that cost? <laughs> it costs less to make a 
intercept a sized Gatling laser than it costs to make a laser for my soldier to equip. Think about that for a moment. Hmm. Maybe it's the cost of miniaturization. Oh, poor Blank. You're my friend. I'm sure I can uh, get a heavily armoured vehicle to name after you, Troll of Reason. Okay. Living Quarters has been completed at Shenanigans Com and Medical Centre at Uricom. Fantastic. Precision laser is finished. Ah, gloriousness. Right, we're going to put the rest into laser rifles. And we are going to equip our sniper. I am thinking I kind of need to bring one of our other snipers along because right now Corroded Soul is getting way, 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 way too much training. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to... You need some downtime, dude. You've been on most missions so far. And we've got Staplers here who is desperate to show that she can uh, contribute as well. So, yeah, Staplers is swapping in. Where's my lasers? I want... Oh, my God. Is this the precision laser? I would assume so. Right, let's have a quick look at this. It does 28 range, 50 projectile damage, 30 armor mitigation, reaction modifier minus 20%. So, okay. Ammo capacity 10. Where's the sniper weapon? Ammo capacity 15. Projectile damage. It's only got 5 more damage. It's got a little bit more range. A little bit more armor mitigation. It's actually not that much of an upgrade, honestly. I'm a little bit disappointed with that one. Nevertheless, we'll take it. And it's only got four shots. What nonsense is this? But you never use your pistol, so I'm not going to even bring it. There's absolutely no need. We're going to give you these things. Smoke grenades specifically. Um, just top you up with... Lots of ammo. That's good enough, I think. Okay. Let's see. I think that was all we had. And uh, staplers, I'm not going to give you armor because that'll apparently slow you down and make it hard for you to see. Uh, TD Cool, I think you're going to be swapped out as well, but I'll wait until we've got our laser rifles done for that 16 percent progress so far gatling laser is paused due to f what uh what please tell me no they take the money over time no i'm probably not gonna be able to finish any of this crap well damn it I didn't expect that. I thought I'd just like pay out for the materials and then it would be built over time. Well, what a bugger. <sighs> okay, Caesian analysis. These pallid creatures are most disconcerting in the flesh, Commander. They are twisted a mockery of our own species, resembling us so closely that one cannot help but feel a creeping sense of revulsion when you stare into their malevolent eyes. In practical terms, a Caesian is a superior approximation of a human soldier. They are highly intelligent and gifted excellent situational awareness by their oversized eyes. Their manual dexterity and reflex speed is much the same as our own. They behave much like human military forces, engaging at long range and making good use of battlefield cover. Despite their frail physiology, their equipment makes them difficult to kill. Even the ubiquitous jumpsuit offers remarkable protection and is supplemented with additional protective gear at higher ranks. Scans have revealed that the brain tissue of these creatures is unusually active, with samples taken during autopsy suggesting that it is extraordinarily rich in energy-dense elenium nanoparticles. As we've already established that these creatures communicate via telepathy, this hints at further as yet unknown mental abilities. Finally, we have concluded that the analysis by collating all known vulnerabilities in Caesian equipment, tactics, and physiolo phys 
We'll start again. And physiology into a document for our soldiers. This additional knowledge should increase the damage they inflict on these enemies by approximately 10%. Well, I accept, I suppose, if you force me. Uh, this is the only thing we've got left to research, so uh, get cracking. Go. Ah. <sighs> I am the sad. Okay. Very small. Ooh, okay. Center on UFO. And the other one is just a small one. I ain't going to go for that one, though. Because that one is likely to lead to a... Oh. Intercept. Ah, crap. Hmm. Okay, look. I need you to change target. Select new target. Him. Go. Hopefully he comes to us. No, he's moving away. I don't think you're going to have fuel, are you? No, you're not. He's moving far too far away. Okay, turn around. Attack these guys. This is going to be a fighter craft, isn't it? Yes, they're making a beeline for us. Bugger! <sighs> okay. Take care, Gunin. Right, okay. We've got... About 90 seconds, all told, of combat fuel. We're just going to go straight in for it. Our ships should be able to deal with this. I'm going to turn off their missiles, though, for a moment. In fact, hamster ones... No, no, hamster one, keep going. Toady one, you need to slow down because you're much faster than the others. Have you got a missile lock? I think you do. Launch one. Launch two. Bailout. Afterburner bailout. Okay, he's a smart one, isn't he? No, he's down. I can't see! Damn it! They're all going for you. Okay, dodge. Now! Ha ha! You fools! Oh, crap! They've used the same old tactic that we use on them. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, launch one missile. And... Launch two. Gauge him. Okay, good, good, good. Now we need... Launch a missile, now. Oh, thank goodness. We've lost Toadie one again, though. God damn it. It's the second time he's been shot down. I tell you one, it's just no good against those fighters. I need to keep him way out of the conflict, I think. I just bail out the moment those fighters show up. That was actually quite intense. I'm, I'm fairly pleased that we managed to do that. Save again. Okay, but we are out of missiles, so we need them to rearm, and then they're going to go after him again. Looks like we're going to have another Ant Ar uh, Arctic mission, I think. Have you... Oh, wait. I, can you go now? Ammo, yes. Fuel, no. We'll wait. Give it a few moments. And... Now is the time. Your destiny demands. Hamster one, away. Right, you, you can probably make it there and take him out, honestly. Go for it, Hamster One. This is your moment to shine. No more will you live in Asaru's shadow. Be better if you had the laser gatling, honestly. But uh, there we are. Engage, quickly. That's right. And Missile One, away. Missile Two, away. Oh, the swine. Managed to dodge both. Okay, no, just get out of there. I'm not liking this. He's going to have you in range in a moment. Low fuel, fail. Damn. <sighs> that was a shame. How much fuel have you got? You got... Hmm. I can't imagine... Uh, no. Honor dictates. Turn around. Quickly. You've only got a few seconds. That's right. 
Full speed ahead! No, we're out. Ah, oh, you're out of all your ammos. Hamster one, you failed. Abysmally. I didn't even notice you were out of gun ammo. I didn't even know you could be out of gun ammo. Ah. You martyr. I would have liked that if I could have told him to ram into the enemy ship. And alas, on that sour note, I must wrap things up. I suppose we can't win them all, or even many of them these days. We seem not to be able to get through a single interception mission without losing someone. Usually Toady One. But yes, Hamster has now joined Toady One in the free refills hangar, I imagine. But that is the end of this episode. In the next, hopefully, we will be able to put some of those laser weapons to good use. But until then, and as always, do take care.